Hey guys, so today on Besser's Basics, I'm gonna share with you the key to making an epic salad dressing. Dressings are great because they are so versatile. I like to think that they set the tone for your salad, whether you want it to be light and tangy, creamy and dense, Asian inspired, the possibilities are truly endless. When you make dressings, you always wanna think about two things. First, when I make a dressing, I like to play it safe. And no, that does not mean I like to make them bland and boring. Safe means I always make sure I have seasoning, acid, fat, and an emulsifier. It's never been so easy to get creative while playing it safe. Second, I always make sure my fat to acid ratio is two to one. Meaning, if you use two tablespoons of oil, you'll use one tablespoon of vinegar. If you find your dressing to be too acidic, you could always add in a touch more oil. While there's no secret recipe to one single dressing, I'm gonna make sure I share with you a few tips on the four essential components every dressing needs in order to make a killer salad every single time. Let's get started. So the first step to making your dressing is adding in acid. Acid can range anywhere from vinegars like balsamic, apple cider, red wine, champagne, and more, or a citrus like lemon, lime, orange, grapefruit, and so on. Acid serve as a great base because they're so acidic. It will balance out all of the heavier parts of the dressing you will need to add in. Next, we have our emulsifier, which is really just a fancy word for something that will help latch onto the liquids in our dressing and bind the dressing together. And of course, pack in flavor. When it comes to emulsifiers, the world is your oyster. Depending on the flavor you're going for, you can add anything like scallions, chives, miso, Dijon, hot sauce, anchovies, fresh herbs, the list continues. Not only do these add an extra punch of flavor to your dressings, but they will save yourself a lot of time when you are starting to mix everything together. Trust me. Now we move on to seasoning. While this may seem like the most simple element, salt is key to adding dimension to your dressing and help awakening the flavor of the other components of your dressing. If you really wanna skip the pepper, you can, but salt is non-negotiable. Before I add in the last component, I like to give my dressing a quick mix. It'll make the emulsifying process much easier in the end if your base is homogenous. Lastly, the most important element that ties our dressing together, fat. So now you stand at a fork in the road. Do you wanna make a vinaigrette or go for a creamy dressing? If you want a thick, creamy dressing, you can use fats like Greek yogurt, buttermilk, sour cream, tahini, egg yolk, and the list continues. But, if you want to make a vinaigrette like I am making now, you should opt for some sort of oil. My go-to is extra virgin olive oil. It's important to make sure your oil is high quality or else it will end up killing your whole salad. But any oil can work. Sometimes I like to add in walnut or sesame oil to get that nuttier taste or even grapeseed oil for a more neutral taste. Traditionally, when you make a dressing, you want to slowly pour in your oil as you whisk your other ingredients together, but let's be real, no one has time for that. I like to pop everything in a mason jar, seal the lid tightly, and shake the shit out of it. And here we have our beautiful salad dressing. You can keep this in your refrigerator sealed for up to two weeks so you have ready-made dressing whenever you want. See you next time.